Major critical here. Uh, I just want to talk about the moist critical situation. It's honestly kind of fucked up. It feels kind of wrong. It feels like somebody's diving headfirst into my ass cheeks every time it happens. Uh, drama's been brewing between uh, the streamer uh, Moist Critical. Some of you know him as uh, Penguins. Uh, and this is Zero. It's kind of stupid, really. And the critical isn't even spelled correctly. There's a one in it. It's kind of fucked up. And then on top of all that, there's this guy named Sneeko. He's kind of a pedophile. If you've ever heard of the movie Cuties, you've probably heard of this guy. He's one of the defenders. Uh, he likes Dr. Disrespect, and also he was a Tate simp sucking the teat of Andrew Tate like a like a newborn calf. It was honestly kind of cringe, if I had to be honest. It didn't feel very realistic. Uh, and I watched the Sneeko movie, and it was also pretty fucking bad. But these two have been going at it for a little while now. Uh, and very recently, it's gotten to a new halt whenever... They agreed to have a conversation, and then Sneeko uh, was live-streaming the whole thing. Uh, Charles, some of you know him as Big Moisty, uh, he didn't exactly expect to go into a debate, as he doesn't exactly debate people, but you know, shit happens. It's kind of fucked up if you're being real. Can't lie to you. So, long story short, it's really tied to the Ava Chris Tyson situation in which the uh, popular... Uh, internet celebrity of Ava Tyson, uh, formerly known as Chris. Uh, she had some terrible things come out against her, specifically things of her being uh, into, uh, at one point or another, uh, art of lollies, which is basically just a way to pretend that you're not a pedophile, even though everybody else already knows what that means. You're not exactly hiding from anyone by doing that, alongside multiple uh, different accounts of uh, sexual assault and just honestly just overall a very cringe and disconnected view of the internet as somebody in such big shoes you should be able to look at that stuff and understand that that's kind of fucked but you know let's move forward from that uh, Mr. Charles he handled it pretty well honestly if you were to ask me he Took a, he took like a, you know, a couple fucking hours to put together what he was going to say before saying it instead of diving headfirst into something without knowing all the details like a fucking idiot, you know. He kind of has like the balls to do that. He'll like figure out what he's going to talk about and research it and not get information wrong all the time. But yeah, old Moisty got it right and he kind of put everything together in a fairly well thought out video, honestly. It felt really personal. It felt like... Uh, I don't know, somebody being genuine. And then Sneeko had the 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 gall to come out and say that Charlie was doing it, that Charlie wasn't going to talk about it to keep the, the collaboration with Mr. Breast alive, which is kind of fucked up considering uh, Moisty has always been sort of, I don't know, in the middle on the whole Mr. Beast situation, just overall over the years. It's like, yay, it's very cool that he's, you know, helping with charities and giving money to people and whatnot. But also, that doesn't exactly make you a saint. You can donate to charity and also be a piece of shit. And also, Charlie has been there multiple times over anything to do with any sort of uh, adult on minor activity on the internet. He's kind of just always been somebody who's vocally against it. Uh, speaking of, Sneeko makes some crazy thoughts throughout this and talks about it live on stream with no editing. He brings up multiple times that he doesn't believe in the age of consent. Uh, he believes in the age of marriage, and that he believes that a child, sh as long as they're physically mature, should be able to date somebody, marry somebody who is a full-blown adult. Uh, it's not an exact quote, but to paraphrase, somebody who's 21 can get married to somebody who's 12 if they look the part, which honestly I think is pretty fucking cringe. It's honestly really stupid. It's like pedagogically classist, really, if you look at it in a certain direction. It's kind of fucking stupid, and I don't like it. But, uh... To move forward, to quote Mr. Moist Critical himself, Wish people would actually bother checking if I've talked about something. I talked about it last night on stream while it was all unfolding and posted a short edit of the discussion, so even brain-rotted idiots can watch the full thing and see how horrible it is. I will also be making a full video on it as well, which I said too. I'm honestly shocked Nico isn't defending all of this considering he's been arguing against the age of consent for a while now, which he then went on to argue for... Another critical quote, because I feel like bringing up more quotes by critical is also probably a very smart thing to do, considering I'm sort of coming out in defense of the guy. 
I thought this was a conversation between him and I, and that not this kind of debate show that he was putting on with his audience. There's nothing in our DMs that indicated this is where it was going. That is where it was going. Sorry, my fault. When I joined the call, he asked if I was going to record it, to which I said, I can if he wants me to, but I was also just down to talk. That's a quote by Mr. Critical. I dropped characters. Sorry. Ginger Critical here. My apologies. Uh, really, to move forward... Oh, shit. I messed up my screen. Whoopsie-daisy. That was the second biggest mess up in America in a while. Just like whenever we messed up on the whole, you know, bombing thing. My fault. Uh, moving forward, long story short, Charlie voiced how much he absolutely hates pedophiles. Going in depth about how he doesn't agree with even the, the crazy takes of Sneeko, much less somebody who is an active pedophile. Uh, he also goes into depth on how he is a fan and supporter of queer people. Uh, not only that, but also going in depth about the actual way the transitioning goes instead of just saying that people get their dicks chopped off because that definitely is how it works, I promise. He goes in depth about that, teaching his audience about it in a way that a lot of people really wouldn't. So he has a lot of gall doing that, and I appreciate it. As a trans person myself, it means the world to me, so I appreciate that, Charlie. Uh, Sneeko uh, continues to defend being a pedophile, continuing to defend minors marrying adults, and continues to defend Cuties, which is his favorite movie, uh, which is honestly really fucked. Uh, if you haven't been caught up on this situation, I would suggest watching Charlie's video. It's a much better in-depth thing than mine. Mine was kind of just stuck together, like the hairs on my ass cheeks. So, uh, that's about it. I'll be seeing you guys later. Ginger Critical out. Ginger Critical out. I said, hello? I said Ginger Critical out. What's happening? Holy fuck.